Hey everybody, peace. Jim with Tractor Treasure Hunters. Hope you guys can see this. It's a little sunny. Um, I got that Magic 8990 on that T2, nice and deep. As you can see, right there is around this, around disc. I'm hoping it's one of those large sensor. I don't know. It's really light. Maybe it's, it's, it's aluminum or something. Type of token, maybe. Yeah, it's not even aluminum, but I think it's got some writing on it. Maybe a pretty cool find. Yeah, I'm getting some 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 letters on there. The palm olive. <laughs> Had to clean that up. That might be a pretty cool old uh, relic there, but anyway. Thanks for watching. Check your holes, eh? Everybody, I'm really, really excited. I'm really excited. I got a 91 on the T2. It locked on, and uh, what popped out, look, I ain't looked at it yet, but I can tell it's a piece of sliver. Oh, yes, yes, yes. But the craziest thing is I went right by here, man. I don't know what that could be, but oh my god, I'm off I'm off of That's a piece of silver, man. Are you ready for the unveiling? Look at that edge. That's a silver coin, man. It's a quarter. It's a quarter. Oh, uh, what is that? Is that a barber? Is it a barber? What is it? Oh my god, man, this is so exciting! I'm so happy. I think it's a barber. Can't be sure. Yeah, I'm rubbing the hell out of it. Yep. Yeah. It's a barber cooler. Holy crap. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, that's lovely, lovely, lovely. That made my whole day right there. All right, man. All right. I got to see what that date is. 1904, man. Check it out. I love that. I've only found, I think, two barber quarters in my whole detecting life. Man, that is so awesome, man. Yeah. Yeah. All right, man. That was so cool. That was worth the trip out here this evening. Thank you for watching. I'll clean this up when I get home, and I am a happy, happy metal detector. <laughs> check your home. Go to check this one and scan some more. All right, guys. See you. Hey everybody, unbelievable. Look, look, look at this, look at this. Right there is the hole where he caught a lip right there. And I'm like literally two feet and I got another, I got like an 85 signal. And look at this, it's another silver and a, it's a Merc Dime, man. Oh God, this is so cool, man. I just, oh man, this is awesome. I mean, it's like right here, I'm gonna concentrate on this area. Look at that, man. Two silvers, man. I ain't had a two silver day in a year. Another, another silver. It's a Merc. Yep, that's a Merc, man. All right, hey, what's the date on that baby? Oh, it's in the 20s. 20, uh, 20 something. I'll get that home and clean it up. Man, what a hunt. What a hunt. Oh, God, this is awesome. So awesome. I'm going to concentrate in this little area good. Whoa! You gotta love metal detecting, especially when you find older silvers. Ah, thanks for watching, man. Tracker treasure hunter out. Check your old seat. Hey everybody, peace. Jim with Tracker Treasure Hunters. I went on an after work hunt today, and man, I'm glad I did. I had a blast, man. I tell you, I uh, mowing season starting soon, and I'm trying to get in all the time I can and I've been to this field many times but um this is the stuff that I found I don't know what that is it's threaded inside so I don't know what that is this is kind of cool pretty heavy brass I guess copper um, looks like almost like a pawn but I don't know what that is look at this gnarly fork I'm gonna leave it just like that and man these these things are I'm talking needle needle sharp I don't know if it's from being in the ground and just like 
moving around in the dirt, but it's sharp. I'm gonna leave it just like that. That's kind of cool. A uh, little odds and ends, a little tube or something. I don't know, a little nut. Just the stuff. This was pretty neat. I was, I was about to throw it away. I thought my trash bin. I was like, well, I better clean it up first. And they say you clean it. It's a, I think it's part of a bracelet, copper or brass. I think it'd probably be brass because it's kind of yellow looking right there. But it's um has some design on it. I'm guessing that was some type of bracelet. So that was pretty cool. A big hunk of lead, kind of like it was formed or melted, but something like that. I don't know, I found a bunch of them out there. I don't know what that is. Type of rivet thing. Uh, another bag seal. It's got some numbers like 24 or something on it. Um, that was kind of neat. Little lead bag seals. Some copper rings. There's another ring. This and this. I don't know. I don't know what this is. Really heavy brass or something on there at one time this was kind of weird it was it's a glass button it was just right there on top and, um, nice and white so I just picked it up and it's, it's glass uh, I think this is like a weight for dress weight or something I don't know this I believe is part of a lock it's got something written on there but I uh, ain't clean up enough it's really solid probably brass a lid to something but the good finds, check this out, man. Found this token. I never f haven't found too many tokens, but this year I found two already. The um, one token I found at my uncle's house. The uh, yeah, this one. The um, birth control token, and I just found this one. Palm olive, good for one cake. Palm olive, soap free when you buy two cakes. And the back is. It's hard to read, but I think there might even be kind of like a date there, 1947, I'm thinking. So, um, pretty cool token, relic. I like finding stuff like that. And look at this. Look at this. I got me a, oh, this was kind of weird. I don't know if it's weird. It might be cool. It's a holy, holy, what's this, name society. I don't know, some type of little button. H N S. Holy Name Society. I gotta do some research. Some type of old button. Here's an old weedy. It's an old one. Thought it might have been an Indian, because I did film it, but uh it's just an old weedy. It's either a teen, it's either nineteen oh nine, I can't really tell. It's really hard to tell. It's there, but I didn't clean up too good. But look at that. Look at that. 1904 Barber Quarter and a 1920 Merc Dime and and you know I did hit this quarter right there but <laughs> I don't know I should have known better 91 on the T2 is usually always always something awesome and that's what it was <laughs> 91 but man look at that and then look at this Merc Dime it was like two foot away from that 1920 in pretty decent condition you can still see the bands on the tower there. So, epic, awesome hunt. Two old silvers in one hunt. So, I cannot complain. I'm going to go back tomorrow and Thursday. <laughs> Why not? The weather's getting nice. And uh, get out and do it. But anyway, thanks for watching. Jim with Tracker Treasure Hunters. I'm trying to get back in it before the grass starts growing. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Check it later. See ya.